course it's not for sale. Who would want that? Well, I can't even see him. Like, I would need the flash or something. There he is. I can barely see his tooth. He's got a tooth. Oh, you gonna get a picture? He's not gonna sit still for that. <laughs> Two point six. Oh, the fish. Did you? All these fish, goodness. I'm not seeing a tank that meets my my needs. I like the trickle down effect on there. Those are just plants for uh, everything. No bird. Usually they have a big bird in the front. Maybe. Oh, look how big that rat is. Dude, he's massive. He's as big as Whiteout was. He looks sweet. Jumbo hooded. I used to breed those, the jumbo hooded. Nope, I can't have any ratties in the house. Those snakes would go crazy with that smell. But that's the size that uh, Krona eats. The big ones. Those are foggers. That's what I have a humidifier for. Alright, I need light heat these are not bad 20 bucks I want a frilled dragon you ever seen those I want a frilled one or a uh, fin tail fin tail would be cool but I'd need the space for it A Burmese. He's so big. Pastel lesser. Oh, it's a spiny mo uh, monitor. Those are baby beardies down there. I need to clean that tub. Leopard gecko. I'm not seeing it. That guy's back there behind his thing. It's a leopard gecko. Milk snake. Why does the milk snake have a bug in there? Ball python. Normal. It's a wood turtle. Anything else. So this is the other reptile room. Look at him! Look at the gecko. These things get huge. Have you seen these? These things get massive. I love the day geckos. I think he's all the way back there. Can't see him. It's a boa. I'm hearing crickets. They've had some crickets get loose. Look at that gecko. Hi, buddy. Mm -hmm. Crested. Oh, 
surprised they didn't even see you there. That's a carpet python. Those get pretty big too. They used to have prices on them. King snake. King snake. I'm not seeing anything in there. They got one of the legless lizards. They look like snakes, but they're my favorite. Money. I want one so bad. 140 bucks. I will. I couldn't afford that. I will straight up go cheap for this entire two weeks just so we can get him. I'm not even lying. I would love. Well, I actually that depends. Another Savannah monitor. I saw yeah. you before. That one's a little bit more grown. He's a full juvenile. Corn snakes and stuff. Oh, ham. Oh, it's like a some sort of iguana. I can't tell. A lot of these aren't labeled. That's a frill neck, Michael. It's a frill neck. It's those that puff out their necks. Any cute? Here's your spiders. Yeah, those are crazy. He has like, gone crazy in there. Mm. Oh, all I'm hearing is crazy. That's you, isn't it? He's chirping. Mm -hmm. Let me out. Let me out. Eat me. Let me out. Eat me. I don't think he's saying eat me. I don't think he's saying let me <laughs> out. Banana lists are not for sale. Russian tortoise. That's cool. <sighs> children's python? What's a children's python? I've never heard of that. I don't even see. Oh, wait, it's back there. It's a tiny, itty bitty little thing. It's about as small as a king snake. A baby king snake. It says beardies too, but I'm not seeing baby beardies in here either. Children's python is a species of non-venomous snake in the python family. An adult length of 36 to 40 inches is a baby. <laughs> Do you see this guy's color in here? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's a milk snake. Oh, no, that's a rosy boa. That's a beautiful color. Why is he hiding? There should be two of them in here. Hi. The king snake's out. Hi. Little assholes. He's out too. It's a king snake. What, do, what is the temperament of a living lizard? Um, birdies. So many birdies. Hi, Kenny piggies. Piggy, piggy, piggies. Holy cow, you're huge. Hi, buddy. You're gigantic. We used to have bunny rabbits. I can't have bunny rabbits no more. Well, if we had more space, I, I would have like a basement or a garage for it. <laughs> Ooh, somebody almost looked at me. Do you have any legless lizards at home? No, no leglesses right now. Um, we have we have an iguana, three turtles, a dozen or have more ball pythons. Yeah, oh okay, yeah. Cool. Oh. He's still young, juvenile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's still pretty young. Buddy. Hi. You're so mm -hmm. smooth. Oh yeah. 
He's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. Once you actually yeah, get, because you can see him breathing and everything. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't know that. I knew they could eat like little mice and rats and. Yeah, some people feed on pretty much everything. That is crazy. Yeah, apparently it's really good for him. Here, I'll hold this. Look at the pretty eyes. I love his eyes. You, you hold him. I would get so one, but they need so snake. much substrate because you like to bury. Really? So. Mm -hmm. And they're also good in pairs. So if you end up finding another one, they're really good together. He's so pretty. He's got a little blemish right there. What happened there? Did he get bit by something? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Poor baby. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not happy about that. Don't touch my boo boo. Shh. Well, don't don't touch. Touch. Okay. So his temperament is pretty good, but obviously he's going to need to eat right. every day. Yeah. Um, just because we don't take him out a whole lot. Of no. Yeah, let's put him up while yeah, the kids are coming in. Yeah, I don't want him around a kid. Yeah. Flipping out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a legless lizard. Oh, okay. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Yep. Kongs. He's not a chewer or a toy player. I've tried toys. He doesn't play with toys. Yeah, I like the bones and treats. Hooves. They have hooves. That's interesting. I wonder if he would take a hoof. He only eats chicken jerky. He won't eat any other flavored jerky either. Which is weird, in my opinion. He knows what he likes. <laughs> Look at the unicorns. Stop. He needs to be chewing on stuff though because he needs to be cutting his teeth and he is not chewing on anything. I'm buying my beer bottle. Look at the tiny muscle. <laughs> if you got a little thing gnawing at you like that, I think you got more problems than you think. I don't think a muzzle is going to fix your issue. No, it's not. So we made it out without buying a new reptile. <laughs> yeah, we looked at the legless lizard. We picked him up. He's a little temperamental, so he won't fit in with our family. We don't do temperamental. We don't want to hand train too many animals. Um, it's a very taxing thing to try to do. We did get a tank with a lid and everything for the turtles, the babies. We got some rats and some bulbs and did you make sure we got all the rats and everything for the snakes yeah, that's true. some bulbs for the turtles and the iguana for heat yes. we have uv lamps so we're good there and now we're gonna go home probably what time is it like 12 uh no it's probably like one o'clock yeah go home and did you want to go to the fish thing cool down you're asking what time they open too. I would rather pull around and do that if I did. Okay. But no, not really. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's keys. Let's head back to the house and set up I the turtle those. tank. Okay, so we have the small tank set up for the baby turtles. Uh, it's got its own little filter, waterfall filter. It's got a basking stock dock for them a little bit of water because they're not used to swimming yet unfortunately we've been keeping them in a very small tub or a very small container I've got my uv bar um, the heat lamp is right here i've got it turned off right now um, i'll only turn it on for maybe a couple hours a day i don't want to overwhelm them with too much heat this room does i mean get kind of humid which is why the snakes are in here uh, we have no shedding problems whatsoever. In fact, over here, we've got Squiggles and she's shed and a couple of our others are currently in shed. So, um, but we're going to put the babies in here soon and they will have their very first tank set up. All right, you're going. All right, so these are the baby turtles. They're just swimming around in some dirty water. 
So we're transferring them to their very first tank. Here you go. Run! She was like, Run just away. like, and he's like, no. <laughs> Um, we'll figure it out. What you doing there, buddy? We'll figure it out. Paddle, 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 paddle. Grab a little bit of food and throw it on top. They're probably not going to eat it. We got them some baby pellets. They need to learn how to be strong swimmers so we can add some more water to it later on. So we only got a little bit of water in it right now. We got the temperature, the thermometer here, it's at 78.1. That's normal for them. They're sliders. He's hugging the filter. I love you, filter. <laughs> Did you get one, buddy? Hopefully. I think I saw him grab one. What we're, little... what we're using is Bahamut's old lid because this thing didn't come with a lid. Just have to make sure it sits right. And Bahamut's old lights. Turn it on for some extra sunlight and heat for them. He looks chill. Can you see him from this side? They'll figure it out. We've got the water about halfway up the ramp. So once they figure out how to get up the ramp, they'll figure out how to bask. Till then, they know how to suck in air and float to the top like that. So I think they'll be fine. They need to learn how to be strong swimmers. They literally just hatched like a week ago. They're such bright yellow. They're so pretty. I think that one's trying to figure out what the filter is. You need to grow up a little so we can tell them apart. Um, I have a feeling that this one's a girl. Uh, she's got short claws so far and she's very bright yellow. Compared to him, he's also a yellow belly, but he's darker. Usually the males are darker and his nails look slightly longer. Mm. So his might grow the way squirtles are. So I got a feeling the darker one's the boy. So definitely, you know, when they do get a bit bigger, they're going to have to be separated. They're so cute. He's trying to do what Squirrel does, get behind it. So they're doing great. Um, they eat pellets. Um, I have vitamin pellets as well for them. They have not really touched any veggies so far, but I have thrown stuff like squash and um, red leaf lettuce and stuff in there for them. He's up halfway up the ramp. Mm -hmm. They'll figure it out. And this tank was only with $30. We already had the heat lamp. We just needed a bulb, which was like $7. We already had the UV lamp. Um, the tank came with the filter. We already had the turtle docking station.
Are you gonna go up the ramp for us? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Find your stepping part. Nope. He had like one thin on the ramp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You know, figure they gotta navigate ponds with, you know, fish and all other critters, so a shallow tank is something they should be able to figure out pretty quickly. They're so big. Mm-hmm. So teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. About the size of a quarter. She's gonna go up the ramp. It takes them a while to figure out the ramp. If I've got to lower the ramp a little or raise the water, that's fine too. And she's off. <laughs> he's off. I don't know. I can't tell from here. She. Uh, yeah, I think that one's the girl. I think the boy's under it with the ramp. Mm hmm. Are you watching this? Well, I'm going to get some pictures and post them up and let them get acclimated to their tank. And we will keep you guys updated as they grow and stuff. Say bye-bye.